Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're all well. Here is the first sit down video with my new hair, I think. And I'm really, really excited for it. Um, I'm loving it guys. I'm loving having a fringe. Just look at that. Just look at the difference it makes to my face. Anyway, hi. If you guys are new around here, my name is Lucy. This is another video. Welcome back. Before I get into the video properly, please, as always, do make sure to follow me on Instagram. My feed will be on the screen right now and also linked in the down bar below. So make sure you go and follow along. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I am trying to be more proactive with um, uploading content and stuff again. Weirdly, throughout lockdown, I thought I was going to get loads of content um, done and then work went crazy and I got less content than ever uploaded. So I'm really sorry for that, you guys, but I'm back on my bullshit now and I am creating and editing and uploading and it's exciting. So make sure you're following along for that too. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. So guys, today's video is an empties video. I've been wanting to do one of these for ages and then I just forget to save the empty products and I'm really terrible at this, but here is my box of empty products I'm showing you guys today. These have been amassed over the course of probably 2020 so far, to be honest. Um, some of them I even probably started using in 2019. So yeah, I'm just excited to crack on and show you guys what's in here. Oh, there's a bit of this left. I'll start with this. I'm not gonna go in any order. Um, to be honest, there's not enough of this left to use. This is my favorite fake tan I have ever used in my life. This is, uh, the Australis Next Generation Dark Tanning Ultimate Dark Tan for fair skin tones. And the reason I love this so much is because this brand is the first one that I've discovered anyway. Like, I'm sure other brands probably do this, but the first brand that I've come across that's created a dark self-tan that will suit each skin tone. So in their range, they have one for... Um, fair skin tones, one for olive skin toned, one for darker skin tones, and then one that's like supposedly un universally flattering. Annoyingly, I couldn't actually get the fair skin tone one when I went into store this week when it ran out. So that's really sad. So I've got the universally flattering one to try next, but I really love this. It gives me the most natural looking tan. I get compliments on it all the time. But yeah, the reasons I love this, it dries super quickly. I haven't noticed it transfer onto my clothing or onto my bedding. Um, it's actually really convenient as well because you put it on uh, like three hours before you want to shower. You shower it off after three hours and then it continues to then develop over the next eight hours. So I tend to tan in the afternoon, shower at like 6 p.m. And then by the time I've woken up the following day, I have a really nice natural looking and just flattering tan um and it has a little key on the bottom as well so it says do you tan in the sun easily if so try the violet base are you naturally fair skinned like me if so try the ash base or if you're looking for an all-rounder try the green base which is the one i've got next but this i think would be the one i would go for ideally so if you're also a very pale person i definitely recommend trying this i got this from Superdrug. i don't know where else stocks it but um i will try and link it down below for you highly recommend love this very much next up we have a makeup product we have the collection incredible brow gel this is in the shade dark brunette i currently have a different shade that i'm using this was the first one i got it's really super dark um but i love this this is the product that i use that is kind of like a dupe for the glossier boy brow so it just makes my brows super fluffy it is all i wear on my brows now i don't do anything else to them and it's like a tinted brow mascara it says so i mean whatever it's basically a brow gel smudge proof fast drying long wearing would agree with all those things and the best thing was i think it's about four pounds so it is so crazy affordable as well but um i really like this and again this was from super drug but i think you can get this in boots too would recommend their shade range isn't great though i feel like if you're blonde and like fair like because my eyebrows are naturally super dark um and I used to be naturally this blonde as well. I'm not anymore. Like you can see my roots are darker, but I used to be naturally really blonde with dark brows. If your brows are not dark naturally, you're gonna struggle though. That's the only thing I will say because the range of like lighter gels isn't great. But by all means, go and have a look. Let me know what you think. I found a deodorant that I really love. And I feel like that probably sounds stupid. I don't think it's necessarily like a groundbreaking thing to find. But I've never found a deodorant that I have vibed with quite as well as this. I've tried Shaw, I've tried Dove, I've tried all the usual suspects. And then I discovered Mitchum. And I was heavily influenced by Instagram to try this. Or was it YouTube? 
I can't remember. Either way, I was heavily influenced to try it. I'd never done like a um, stick deodorant before. I'd always tried either a roll-on or a spray, but I find roll-ons just don't do the job and sprays for me just irritate my skin quite a lot. So this is actually really nice. And I love the fact that you can get an unscented one. So I'm wearing the unscented one at the moment. This one I think has like a, yeah, this one's like a fresh scented one. It's actually pretty nice. Um, the only one I don't like is the pink one. It smells too much like baby powder and I'm really sensitive to smells like that. Really didn't enjoy that one. It goes on invisible, leaving no white residue on the skin. It goes on smooth and it's derm dermatologist tested. Couldn't get my words out there. Um, but I recommend this. It's not very expensive either. And again, I think you can get it in Superdrug and Boots. They do do a spray and they do do a roll on. But personally, I like the stick. Uh, primer for you now. We have the YSL primer. I can't remember if it's actually got a name. Oh, here we go, yeah. The YSL Touche Clout Blur Primer. As you can see, this has been very well loved and used. This was a Christmas present from my dad back in like Christmas 2018. And I finished this, I think probably towards the end of last year, but I've obviously kept it and lockdown happened. So I haven't been wearing primer. Haven't really been wearing much makeup, to be honest. So this is why it's taken me a while to get through products. But yeah, this one I think I finished probably to the start of this year, back end of last year. I like this primer because it's a really nice like silicone primer. Felt really nice going onto the skin. Had little gold flecks in it. Illuminated, you know? Very nice, felt very bougie. It's a bougie primer. I would buy this again, I did enjoy it. I don't know how well it would work with my current base, which I'm gonna show you in a second because I have got through one tube of it already this year even though it have been a lockdown. Um, but yeah, enjoyed this a lot. The base that I'm talking about is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is just the full coverage regular one with SPF 50 in it, uh, in the shade Light. Now, the reason I have managed to still get through a tube of this during lockdown is purely because of Zoom calls and creating Instagram content. Um, I also feel like there's perhaps not as much in this as there would be in like a foundation tube. So there's also that. And yeah, I don't know. If you want a heavier coverage, you would use more of this. To me, it says full coverage. Now I'm wearing it today and you can't really see imperfections on my skin. Um, but also I think that is down to concealer as well. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's like full coverage. For me, I'd say it's like medium. If you want to build it up, you would definitely need, like if you want a proper like full coverage, like foundation full coverage you definitely need to build it up i also only use kind of like a pump sometimes even only three quarters of a pump because i don't like a heavy coverage on my face right now especially in the summer months but um yeah i really like this my only complaint is that i need to get a lighter one because this shade is only good for me when i'm fake tanned because right now my skin it doesn't look so bad on camera but trust me my face is way too dark i'll show you my last two makeup items now and then we can just go on to skincare that works okay so First of all, we have one of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. This one is in the shade Creme Brulee. This is great for when I'm wearing a slightly darker foundation um, or when I'm wearing that BB cream because it matches my skin a lot more. I don't use concealer to highlight any longer. I used to, I feel like everybody used to, but for me now, concealer is purely a coverage situation and I don't use it, like I say, that often. Um, but this one I enjoy, it does the job, it covers well. Perhaps not as well as I would like sometimes, but it does cover well, and don't really know what else to say, it's kind of a cult product. This product was a love-hate product, it's another NARS one, this is the Liquid Laguna Bronzer. Now, the reason this was a love-hate product is because this particular pot leaked, my current one does not leak, so I feel like perhaps that was just a dud. A dud pot of it. Um, it was difficult to figure out how to work with originally, like I'd never used a liquid bronzer before, but now that I'm kind of more comfortable with the application of it and what kind of brushes and stuff to use, I feel like it's working a lot better for me. It does give me a really nice bronze colour, it does blend nicely. I don't know at the minute if it is that product mixed with the Cosmetics CC Cream that is making me, my foundation go a bit patchy, but something is right now. We're exploring it, we're trying to figure it out, I will keep you guys updated, but yeah, I did enjoy that product. It does give you a very nice blendable bronzed base. That was alliteration. Is it raining? Okay, on to skincare now. So I have some gifted items here. I'll talk through these first because I actually genuinely really, really love them and I would repurchase. The first one that I would definitely repurchase is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. So this is kind of like an oily balm and it's great at melting off makeup. I used to also use this in the morning as my morning cleanse because it just melts away dirt and oils and stuff off your face. And it's a very nice, very gentle cleanser. It also smells 
so nice as well like very fresh kind of lemony almost very nice um but this i think by far is one of my favorite dermalogica products i'm so sad that i'm out of this i'm definitely 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 going to stock up on another um bottle because like i say it's nice i did used to still use my cellar water to remove my makeup before i use this just because it felt a bit cleaner but i do know that's a little bit overboard for skin as well this is very gentle still removes makeup very well and i liked it very much um See also Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I think this is probably my all-time favourite cleanser. I did love the Lizelle Hot Cloth Cleanser as well, but this, I don't know, it just really helped clear my skin up. I feel like I credit these two products quite a bit in my journey to clearing my skin up this year. Um, again, a very gentle, just foaming cleanser. Very nice to use, really soft on your skin, but just great at dealing with all the nasties, you know? And my skin has its fair share of nasties but we got there we got that um speaking of lazelle i have the same product but twice for you so you can see just how much i love this this is the instant skin smoothing tonic in both the full size and the travel size oh my god you can seriously see my lack of movement in that wrist like wow um so i really like this tonic it smelled gorgeous very natural just very nice on my skin again i think this is another product that really did help to clear my skin up um, and another one that I would 100% repurchase. I think I might actually have another one of the travel size skin tonics somewhere. Obviously keeping that for when I can eventually travel again post COVID. Um, but I really enjoyed using that. We have a few moisturizers here. So the first one is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo with SPF 30. I'm actually using this again at the minute, my second tube of this. This I used to use as well as a moisturizer and I have since learned that this kind of works as a moisturizer on its own. So this is my day moisturizer now. Again, good at clearing breakouts. SPF 30, got to protect your skin from the sun. I use this in conjunction with this. So I have SPF 50 and SPF 30 on my face at the same time. I don't know if that's overkill, but I'm very fair skinned and I want to keep my skin looking young because right now I feel like I don't look my age and we love that for me. We want to keep that, want to keep that energy. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed using this. I have the This Works No Wrinkles Extreme Moisturiser. I got this from TK Maxx. Honestly, I'm not a fan. Smelt interesting. Actually, it smelt nice. Smelt similar to this bad boy. Um, yeah, so quite calming. It is nice. I didn't see it making a huge amount of difference when it comes to smoothing out kind of wrinkles or signs of aging on my face, though. My face doesn't look old, but I do have the usual suspects, you know, lines coming around my mouth and around my eyes and stuff now that I'm 28. And yeah, I didn't see this make a huge amount of difference. Whether that is because this is targeted to older skin than mine, I don't know. That could be why. But I felt like it was expensive for a product that didn't necessarily do wonders for my skin so there's that on to the last two products now the first one is a very well loved soap and glory doctor spot spot cream this product i've repurchased so many times i used to find this like faultless at clearing my skin up but since i've had more irritated skin over the past year or so it hasn't worked quite as well i think this is great at just targeting small breakouts like one or two spots here and there i think if you're suffering from like a real breakout breakout this probably won't necessarily do the job um if you're using this make sure you are using a lot of spf it literally says it on the bottle as well um but just make sure you're using a lot of spf if you're going out during the day using this because um i think it's got some acids in it i want to say it's got like salicylic acid or something in it as well um I don't hate this product I think it's good but like I say I think it's better if it's just targeting like one or two spots rather than like a full-on breakout and the final product I have is the Clarins foot beauty treatment cream I feel like I never hear people talking about foot care on YouTube I'm a next dancer my feet are not great I'm just gonna put that out there okay my feet are battered they are scarred they've changed shape it's it's a hot mess that's what Irish dancing does to you um so I will never have nice looking feet, but I figured if I can make them as nice as possible, that's probably a good thing. So I started using a foot cream regularly just to try and keep the skin on my feet feeling soft and smooth and nice. And I've been using this foot cream. It's good. It smells beautiful. It does help keep your skin soft. Although I would recommend using this in conjunction with something like a foot peel or like regular um, pedicures when we're able to get them again. So having your foot filed, that kind of thing. If you're regularly filing the hard skin from your feet, this is great. If you're just using this on its own, it's not going to cure the hard skin issue, basically, is where I'm going with that. 
can't believe we've reached the point where I'm talking about hard skin on your feet on my channel. But there we go, guys. There we go. Anyway, those are my empty products. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please, as always, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you have used any of these products, what you thought, if there's anything that you would recommend to me based off the products that I have apparently really enjoyed. Um, and as always, if you're not already, please do make sure you subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. It really would. So... There we go. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.